Hi there YouTube and welcome to another vlog. So today I'm in one of my favourite uh, wooded areas and it's a woodland that leads down to the River Meavy. Do a little spin round so you can see all around me. You can see where I am. Oh. Trees everywhere. We've got some pretty nice conditions today as well. We've had some nice light. In fact, it was really clear and sunny this morning. It's clouded over now, but it's not heavy cloud, so we still have some nice light to play with, which is good. So I'm going to have a wander around and see what these early spring trees are looking like. Um, they're still pretty bare. No foliage on them yet. So what I'm going to do is have a scout round, see if I can find any compositions and also maybe keep them in mind for a later date. If we have perhaps better conditions like for instance fog. This composition that I have here is kind of unusual um, and I'll explain why just as soon as I've altered the aspect ratio on my camera. Bugs. As I was saying, I have a rather unusual composition here in that there is a man-made structure which is part of the main feature of it. But I love this juxtaposition of this very ordered man-made structure with its angular straight lines surrounded by trees beautifully naturally growing trees as well not not uh, plantation trees let me show you what it is that i'm looking at the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to pick a focal point for the image i'm probably going to focus on this main tree here so let me just overexpose that a little bit so that i can actually see what i'm doing bit more. All I need to do now is pull that into my sharp focus like so. Bring my exposure back down. As you can see we've got these steps leading down to this observation point here with these nice rails all around it. So that is my sort of straight angular ordered man-made structure and then we have this tree here we have a tree here on the left and then we have a tree through the middle of the frame with these twisty limbs in the top now to the left we've got some trees here which i could crop out but i'd rather not because i like the idea of these steps leading in right into the center here so i'm going to leave that and leave those steps in and that is my composition So there you go, that's my first image for today. I think you'll agree that's quite an unusual one. Um, uh, most people would avoid um, any kind of man-made structures in landscape photography. But um, I don't know, there's something about that that I quite liked. So 
So what I'm looking for specifically at the moment is a composition where I can use my long lens in order to uh, shoot it. And there's a reason for that because I bought something for my long lens that I want to try out today to make sure that it works properly. Which you'll see in a minute when I find a composition. There's a tree down there, um, down the bank and by the river that I quite like. Just not quite sure whether there's some elements in the foreground that might obscure it a little bit. So yeah, that's what I'm looking for specifically, is a composition quite a way off, which means I need to get my long lens out. So the thing I've bought for my long lens is this lens collar. Um, now, the, the main reason I bought it is because Somebody mentioned on a previous video about it not having a lens collar and whether or not uh, the camera was a little bit front heavy without it. Now, I never really thought it was because it's a pretty light lens. And also, um, you can't get a lens collar to fit this specific lens. So what it did is I measured the diameter of the of the actual lens there where the collar fits and it it uh, it was as near as damn it to 82 millimeters now on ebay i managed to find a lens collar that fits a sigma lens with an 82 millimeter diameter inside the collar ring and it's made of magnesium alloy, so it's nice and tough, proper professional quality, um, and it fits onto the ball head like so. Now, that does feel more stable, in actual fact. Um, the only drawback is is the little uh, focus window on the lens is now covered up. Not that I ever use it. I can still access the autofocus and image stabilization buttons. Um, so yeah, fits all right, doesn't it? So I've got tree there, tree there, another one slightly to the right of it and then these crisscross diagonal lines through that natural frame there. Um, so I'm just overexpose a little bit, zoom in and focus. There we go, slightly underexposing. So at um, 20, so f14 and ISO 50, let's just have a look at that again. That's giving me 25th of a second. We're getting some beautiful light as well at the moment. So, I'm quite pleased with this uh, lens collar. So if you have this lens, uh, what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description as to where you can get this. And um, if you want a lens collar for this lens, this one fits it. Okay, I'm gonna end the video there. Um, thank you very much for joining me. Um, I hope you like the images and the video. Um, let me know what you think of the, the lens collar that I bought, um, whether you think it would be useful to you. 
and as I said I'll put a link in the description of where you can buy it. Please give us a like and a subscribe if you haven't done already and leave comments as well because I love answering comments and I'll see you in the next video.